composed of compasses round about all that they do. And in that anger, it said Allah is ever around those that plan. Because for those who read into the Quran, it says when the devil plans, Allah plans. And it's Allah that is the best of planning. So remember that morning and uh, during that family uh, in this sort of speaks of battle. And where you have to prepare to meet people. And in the Quran, it was speaking of the battle of Ba'a, where uh, the Muslim, the faithful, was challenged. And some of them had a little fear at their posts. But in the Quran, it says, remember two of your parties meditated cowardice, but Allah was their protector. And in Allah should the faithful believer ever put their trust. As you hear when I said the faithful and then the scientists. See, a lot of people don't even want to believe the truth that the scientists come up. But in the scripture, it still gives a description of the faithful to believe in the signs of Allah. Because both have to observe the same condition. They may explain it a little bit different with different terminology, but it's showing you with knowledge that is the base to increase your faith. Once Allah in his own permission gives you that insight, then you'll better appreciate it once you get it. So Allah has helped you during those times. And then he reminds us, he says, Allah helped you at that time when you were helpless. Then fear Allah. Thus may you, may he show you the right way out of this and then so getting a remedy from this, you will grow with gratitude. So in essence, it's telling us even though we face in hard times, if we have the faith that Allah is above hard times, easy times, and we keep that faith, then we know that's only temporary. Because the only thing ever has to be permanent is Allah. It's a test in our faith. But that comes when we ask Allah to open up our heart and mind to more understanding and reason. And it says, remember those of you who are faced with these hard times, the faithful, the scientists, and all. Is it not enough for you that Allah should help you with angels, especially sent down? Now, when you have scientists all over the world trying to figure out this particular virus. Can't you see the power of Allah? Those that come up with some healthy remedy. Those are like the angels to us. An angel that's helpful. Those are guidance. Those are signs for us. So once we learn to appreciate what Allah has put out there, so we encourage you as an individual to study the science, to increase your faith by study, to encourage your children to get a well-rounded education in the religion as well as in these scientific studies. Because it all points back to the greatness that Allah has already put out here for us. And then we all learn that discover means to uncover what Allah has put there for us. 
So, brothers and sisters, I could go on, and I had intended, but I'm going to stop here, and you can read in the Quran, in the family of Imran, and read not just for the historical impact on you, but what's going on in your life today. Because many of people say, oh, those are stories of yesterday. But they're so valid today, even for guidance. So it can help save our lives. But we have to have confidence in the science. And we have to have confidence and increase in faith. And we won't get either one unless we crowd to the Creator who, when I say crowd, I mean pray, be obedient, follow the principles of religion, and try your best to live the best way that you can. And it is in that episode of exchange that Allah can bless you in your sincerity to not only be helpful to yourself, but to be helpful to your family and your community, and we all benefit. So we thank Allah, we say, Alhamdulillah, Ya Rabbi Alameen. And I greet you as I came before you. Hai salam alaykum.